off on the next adventure people this is the longest trip I've done in the mog on um, for the purpose of using it as a mog so we're off to Fraser Island just about to leave it's five o'clock on a Friday night so we're gonna drive through the drive through the night hopefully make the ferry late tomorrow sometime um, but yeah off to Fraser next time you'll see us will be at Inskip Point there's a truck ready to go so yeah it should be fun so we'll see you at Inskip Poop in skip point people let's hope we don't make the video of people getting bogged up one of the most common things i get asked is the fuel range so this is the first long long trip so we are currently speedo says 16,793 and then i'll let you know what 160 odd liters does for us So we just stopped at Nambaka to do the first fuel stop and stretch our legs. So this is, so that's 460, how many kilometers was it? Four, six, 462 kilometers. So I'll go in and pay for the fuel, then we'll do some number crunching for you statisticians as to average speed and liters per hundred. All right. So let's get the number crunch let's get the calculator out <laughs> so we've just done what have we done 272 kilometers 262 462 I was gonna say. so 462 kilometers at 114 liters let's just work out our average speed then because surely we can get that bit right 462 yeah, so, but we left at 10 past 5, it's now 11, 10 past 11, so that's 6 hours, so 462 divided by 6, so our average speed is 77 kilometers an hour, but we, we stopped for half an hour for dinner, yeah, but you had and then we had all traffic. the traffic, so we stopped for half an hour for dinner, and then we had all the holiday traffic and Friday traffic coming up the freeway. It took us nearly two hours to get to Beresfield. Mm -hmm. So 77 kilometers isn't as bad as it sounds. But we're gonna have to get back to you because I'm fucking up, not, oops. I'm not getting the liters per hundred right. Okay. So we've just Googled it so we can get it right now. So it's a 114. divided by six seventy four seventy four sixty two equals times a hundred so we're currently doing twenty four liters per hundred is that terrible? I don't think that's bad I thought we'd be around twenty okay but well, maybe because it's that traffic yeah i don't know but anyway so we're currently doing 24 liters per hundred which i don't think that's bad because i'm pretty sure people with the big dodge rams and all that stuff and f-150s and all those are not doing much better so i wouldn't think 24 liters per hundred is that bad anyway so we're at nambucca heads so that's nearly halfway coughs is sort of counted as halfway to brisbane not halfway to Fraser obviously so that's still a couple of hours away from there so at this rate we should be there early tomorrow morning anyway next time you speak to us we will be in Brisbane 
go to, Pete? It's got to be the, the, the go to question. What? What's Pete's tyre pressure going to be? Uh, I used to run in the Mazda, I used to run 16. That was the go to in the Mazda. I'm going to go to 25 in these. Serious? Okay. Serious? Why? We used to, the other tyres we went to 20. Yeah, okay. 30 is what they recommend, but I always. Who do I listen to anybody? Can you just turn that wheel around so that the valves at the top for me? Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. for sure. Right? Yeah. You got the toilet for me then at least? Yeah, anything else? Um, <laughs> yes, yeah, sure. No other. Oh, okay. oh, yeah. What? Day two on Fraser it was a very lazy day yesterday. We got after the 17 hours of non-stop drive or 14, 15 hours. We just found camp and crashed. So that's our camp for last night, which is zone one on the island. So now we're just about to head off, do the inland tracks today, um, visit a few of the creeks, Mackenzie's and all that stuff. So that'll be today. Obviously, we'll do a lot more filming today than we did yesterday. Um, but yeah, Fraser Island, we're here. 
beautiful place weather's been amazing nice cool breeze last night no mozzies no sand flies no march flies whatever the f ugly fuckers are but anyway so we'll show you around today as much we can the camping sites are booked out everywhere so we've had to we can't play it by ear like we wanted to we had to get online last night and just book wherever we could because the rangers are being pretty picky about it hence why we've got a fancy little pink stick pink ribbon on the car but um yeah anyway we'll see how we go today and um keep you updated What did we say this one was called, Pete? Hey? All oh, right. Boom and Gin. Boom and Gin. So Lake Boom and Gin. Pete just informed me. Hey, it's very windy out here today. It's not um picturesque. Nice over there. There's a beach over there. It's very um probably can't see it. Very red very red anyway that's our first inland creek on the Fraser trip I'd pronounce it again but I can't so Lake Boomanjin or something people ask us why we don't build a box for it and are living under the canvas lowered this is why there is no way you could bring a big box through here. I understand they're built for a purpose for some people, so I'm not putting shit on them. But there's no way you could build a big camper box and put it on the back of a mob and come through tracks like this without destroying it. So that, people, is why we run the campers. this look at the colors like beer what's this beer bean or something like beer bean look at that might have to get in the water
What morning is this, Pete? I don't know. Three? Monday, is it? I don't know. Yeah, alright. Monday morning. We stayed at Central Station last night. This place is amazing. Hot showers. Looks like a rainforest. But anyway, we sort of had a bit of a lazy, lazy couple of days, I think, just because we're a bit wrecked from the trip up. But anyways, we're going to push hard today. Lake Mackenzie first up. Try to do everything inland today. Um, it's actually everything, accommodation, everything's booked. The last few videos we watched before we came away, everyone said you just sort of book on the day. But I think because they've, it's holiday season, which doesn't help, but because they've closed off a lot of the... Um, camping zones I think for the dingoes you've got a book so we've had to rush around and book last night no, the night before last to everywhere so we're sort of a bit limited to where we're staying so we're going to stay one night on the east coast and the rest of the nights further up north past near Nagala rocks and that for the other two nights uh, but yeah <coughs> it's a bit hard to know what to film because it's a lot of slow windy tracks on the inland um, but Hopefully today it's not we're off not doing the scenic route today so um, hopefully there's a bit more shit to show people and and um, we can move a little bit faster but anyway so this is it central station we came near the toilets so it was pretty good the showers were good so yeah, hot showers there look at that beast Pete still cruising but yeah nearly every campsite in here is um is but it's full camping as well as um yeah like tent camping as well as four drives and trailers that nearly every site is full Lots of Aboriginal history here. Anyway, Lake Mackenzie. Taking, preparing, consuming food and drinks except water is prohibited on the lake shore. The moment of truth is it worth the hype. Wow, look at that. It's pretty nice, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we're going to get people wherever we go, aren't we? It's no different. No, it's not as rowdy. Look at that, beautiful, hey? Oh, were they? Oh, right, okay. Is the rare inland porpoise. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't go under the water, I've got no pants on. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
face. It's hard to film because I try to keep everyone's privacy and not put everyone else in my in the videos. But it's very hard when it's this busy. But it drops off so deep just there. Beanstalk peat can't touch the ground. Literally five feet that way. What happened here, Pete? What? Flat tyre. Oh my god. Pete caused us a mischief. <laughs> Flat tyre, not sure whether the one is going to be. What are they doing? What are they doing? I don't know. up Eli Creek it is packed well, I don't know how busy it gets but a lot of cars here <laughs> got the big four drive trucks too just so I fit in hey I'm saying there's a couple of four wheel drive trucks here just so I fit in don't look like the odd one out with our cheap Kmart floaties last minute job
can get going. Goodbye. Ciao. Are you? You're bum. Pete's going to bottom out. That's what I said, Pete. Well, I'm probably not going to be a whole lot different. But... <laughs> Does it get deeper? <laughs> no, Pete, we're going to have to walk it. Hey? Yeah, I think it is. My bum is up, thank you. Where's Pete? Is Pete stuck up there? Is he coming? Is he floating? He's so far. He's so far in the water. <laughs> Is he? Yeah. And he wants he wanted to be avoid the crowd. He's with the, the crowd. crowd. <laughs> it is very shallow though. Like if you put your hand down you can stop yourself. Probably at high tide, I don't know if high tide makes a big difference. Oh we're gonna crash! Don't push me like that. I'm gonna push you in the dirt. <laughs> it's a bit sketchy in places, isn't it? I'm not floating anymore. I am. It's deeper over here. Where's Pete? Come on, Pete! <laughs> Maybe I should have bought you too, Pete. I can't see yours above the water. <laughs> you guys look like you're not on any flotation at all. We've run aground. Come out wide, Pete. Come out this way, it's deep it's so shallow there, you can't move. He's just walking with his bloody feet on the ground. Or with his hands. It is. Oopsie. Run aground. No, still the ground. <laughs> I think out your way, somewhat floatable. Through here's not. <laughs> you won't be seeing me when I get in, will you? <laughs> See, I'm going stiff as a board, so my ass is up.
school girl. Good. Again? Yeah, why not? Hey Bridget, take this with you. I oh, know, I'll take it with me. <laughs> Is that? Why do I always get the fucking shallow spot? <laughs> Bridget's stuck there. So day three night, Monday night, Monday night. Where are we? Zone six. Zone six. It's fun, some funny spelling. But this is the first time where, there's where we camped. And literally, there's the ocean. So you can actually see the ocean from the campsite tonight. So that's the first campsite that's like that. So there's a mad rush. You'll see a lot of people coming up and down because the tide is um, coming in rapidly. It's about four o'clock. We just stopped at Mahino, which you would have seen. Like bongs of shit in the sand. There'd be a mad rush if the tide's coming in. So there'll be a mad rush of cars if they haven't already done it. You can see them down the beach coming up. Just trying to get up before the tide hits us. Very tight all this place, you really gotta get your tides right or you can make a mess of things. Anyway, that's where we camp tonight. Tuesday, the pinnacles. If you blink, you will miss it. Going up the hop, going up the beach. There it is. We drove past it yesterday. Didn't even see it. Okay, well that's a big letdown. They um, yeah, rated as a good tourist destination. Look. You can't see shit from down here. It's a better view, people. Just have a glance to your left as you're going up the beach. But yeah, very much a letdown. So 
they end up doing their recovery. fun without getting bogged, hey? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we were like, it doesn't seem like no one's gonna, we were actually gonna back up and just go back. Just go back on the east. Yeah, well. Oh, Chico Bros, double famous. <laughs> Going on YouTube. Uh, the savior. <laughs> we haven't got you out yet. No, but you will, I think. <laughs> You'd like to think so, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah. I've wasted a shit ton of money if I can't get it out. <laughs> That's literally a winch truck. <laughs> so trick don't like as I we pull you, just gentle throttle. Gentle throttle. Just so you don't spit everything out. And then yeah. once we're going, yeah. just try and stay similar speed. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. There's a toilet that's closed. Where are we? Oh, go ladies, here. Right, so we need to go up there. Like it, Alan. Yeah. Want to do the circuit trick, babe? No, not really. <laughs> Just quietly. Yeah, tempted by turtles. Oh, yeah. Turtles! Mm. Here, turtle, turtle, turtle. Where are you fuckers? Well, Where are you little fellas at? What's your name? Someone said throw something to the water. So then throw your song, Sam. The turtle brings back. Oh, they're already there, banging their heads out. The po <laughs> Hello, look at you little fellas. <laughs> look at that. Just like fucking Sam yesterday. <laughs> hey. Look at the little fellas. You probably can't see him. Look, here he comes. Stick your head up. Say hello. Look, one to the left. Yeah, look. There. Oh, he's scared. Oh, over there. Where? There's one there. <laughs> Very cute. Oh, Here's look, one. Look, look, look. look. Yeah, yeah, look at all the little head. heads. Look yeah. at their little heads. Pop their little heads up to get some air. Oh, and look out there. Back down they go. Wow. <laughs> How cute. Yeah. Look at the flipper gown. Waving at Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's doing it. Doing He's a doing a show. dance. Doing a little show. It's come up, this. come up. How quiet is it? You sure you don't want to do the walk around? Positive. 
You two do it. My foot's killing me after jumping in that sand. You two can go and do it. I'll wait for you the truck. Are you going to blow some kisses to the turtles? I may lay my own turtle in here for them. Shit. Yeah. So this is called what? Sand blow. Mm -hmm. Knife blade sand blow. It's a bit hard to see, GoPro probably not going to do it justice. You see the ocean over there? And I guess there's ocean over there, but there's sand in the middle. Heads around a fucking island. That's quite sweet there, you can see where it falls down. Awesome out there on the bike. Uh, <coughs> wouldn't it just? So is that it there? So it must have been there, we're not far off from the coast. So is that Indian head we just came around? I can't fucking, I think it is. And then this just goes through Champagne Pools and continues on. So in case you're wondering, we're walking down the Champagne Pools at the minute. Morning all, this would be day, no idea, Thursday, I've got lost track of the days, thought I'd get up early to try and capture some sunrise, another magic day, we, we got smashed by mozzies last night, the little bug zapper went flat, hence why I got skin off my nose, the missus got the shits and clocked me one, so, um, don't forget to fucking re recharge the bo mozzie zappers people. So we're heading up to Nagala Rocks today, um, see how we go there. I'm going to see if I can fit through, I haven't seen a MOG drive through. I've seen them drive over and around, so we're going to see if we can fit through it somehow. I think I'd have to straddle it in certain spots, but I'm going to do my best, depending on traffic too, I don't want to be a fuckwit and hold everybody up, but um, we're due for some showers tonight, which surprisingly might be a pleasant change. Um, but yeah, another magic morning out on the beach and um, haven't done a whole lot of talk in this trip because I've just been savouring the scenery to be honest. Um, we've done a bit of a, a calculation thing because we get asked five million times about how much fuel the truck uses and all, and all that sort of jazz. So we'll put in either in this video or we'll put in this video in a separate video on, on what it costs to run the MOG up here and back. Um, but yeah, we've just been, you know, all, doing all the inland tracks. It's, well, obviously, I've taken footage of it, as you've already seen it. But um, yeah, not a whole lot of talking. So we'll try and change that today. Or maybe you guys are <laughs> liking the fact that you're not hearing my voice. But anyway, we're here. We've got two more days on the island. We leave the island on Saturday. Um, so we're going to head up to Sandy Cape today. It sucks you're not allowed to camp up there at the moment. I'm not sure whether it's a permanent thing or just because of dingoes or what. Um, but yeah, we're not allowed to camp up there at the moment, which is a pitter. But anyway, it's low tide now. High tide's about midday, one o'clock today. So it's good. We'll be able to shoot up there, nice hard sand, spend a lunchtime and everything up there while the tide comes in and then back out again and then shoot back down. We're currently in zone, this is currently zone 8 all along here, which is the other side 
the headland there basically is Orchard Beach. Um, that's a nice shop. If you ever need bits and pieces, friendly staff, fuel. Had to get some fuel just to be safe yesterday. What did I pay? $3.40 a litre. So it um you want to try and come prepared. So we didn't get we didn't fill up, we just got a little bit just to be safe. I think we were right with the amount of fuel we were carrying. Um, but just thought we'd be safe. But yeah, we stopped there. Nice shop. Hi. Um, we went to Yurong. We've been to all the, the touristy spots. Um, some, I think the hype was a little bit more than, than what their value is, if that makes sense. Uh, but each to their own. Some people like certain things, some people don't. Um, but the... As far as the, the, the inland tracks and the driving and everything, camps. Went to one campsite, not a big fan, but it was good if you're a fisherman. Can't remember the name of it, I'll put it, I'll, I'll link it somewhere, but um, yeah, the inland tracks, they've all been a lot of fun in the big girl. Pete's been having a ball in his car as well, so yeah, it's, it's been a good trip so far. Um, so, we're going to pack up. I think it's only not even six o'clock yet. We've been going to bed early because not much else to do and getting up early. So um, we'll go pack up, head up to Nagala Rocks, and I'm sure you'll see some footage there. Comes Pete in the big 200. We had not a fucking hope in hell of fitting through there. We were tires jammed right back in the beginning. Come this way a bit, Pete. You can see why so many um so many people get boggy dead. Ah, oh, Pete, look the shame. There's someone coming up behind you. It's second attempt, it is soft and it just lack of clearance more than anything.
his channel.
کہ 